will say Noble Jurali was the first to bring Islam to the Americas. But what I like to say is Noble Jurali was the first to reawaken Islam for generations in the Americas. But then, why did Noble Jurali put Muhammad in the authority? And Muhammad has to do with Islam, but Moors don't speak on Muhammad and they don't speak on the Quran of Mecca. And they really don't have stories about Muhammad and they don't speak on how that ties to coming to the Americas as a Ali. So Muhammad was married to Khadija Ali, who had a brother, Abdul Ali. And before Muhammad passed, he put his hand on Abdul Ali, which they say was, would be his stepbrother or his, his brother-in-law because it was the brother of Khadija Ali, his wife. And so he said it just like this, just like the Moorish prayer. He said, you are my successor. You are my everything. So basically, basically he was like, you're the noblest one I know. So when I pass, it's going to be to you. Which doesn't mean that Muhammad was a was higher than Ab Abdul Ali. It was just how it was at the time. I don't hear Moore say that. Moore's never told me that. I had to find that out for myself. Like it would have helped out a lot because when I read the authority and it speaks of Muhammad, and I always heard of Muhammad about Islam before I heard of Noble Jurali. No more has never tied that in was, oh, Muhammad was married to Khadija Ali. No Bujrali's great, 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 great. You know what I'm saying? Grandma or whatever. They didn't say that, man. See, Moors and myself has, has spent 10 to 12 years going over and over with the, the basic principles of nationality and um all of that. How to conduct themselves in society so they don't get... Socially absorbed by foreign European occupationists. You see what I'm saying? That just rolls off the tongue because it is what it is inside. Some people have to read that off of a sheet. We spent 10 to 12 years going over the same stuff when we could have been taking time to find details that Mohammed was married to Khadija Ali. Like no more told me that. Because they was too busy having to spend time going over the same things of um, being in your proper self, honoring your foremothers and forefathers through a bloodline nationality with which all nations agree upon. We won't violate each other because we both we all know that we're we're of the same nations, but separated sort of through nationality, but we're still family. You know. Took a lot of time with general information that we couldn't take out details to find out about, you know, when Noble Jurali passed, you know, Aaron Payne claimed to be the leader of the society and he was an attorney. So he knew how to um, transfer estates and properties and do everything. And it said publicly in that paper that he was the new leader of the society publicly. Where was he before or after? I seen no demonstration from him as a moor. I seen him in the picture with the with the fez on. But then you find out that Claude Green was friends with the coroner who signed Noble Jurali's death certificate. You find out Claude Green was involved in a hospital for patients of tuberculosis. But Noble Jurali had the cure for tuberculosis. So if Claude Green was with Noble Jurali, he would have he would not only have a hospital for just tuberculosis, but for all things that Noble Jurali healed. So why did he just choose to focus on a tuberculosis hospital? Noble Jurali, they say, dives tuberculosis on the death certificate signed by a coroner that was friends with um, Claude Green. See, these things we could be detailing and looking at and done had figured out if we didn't have to keep going over the same old, same old thing. That you're supposed to already catch on to 10 to 15 years ago. You still. You still running around 12 years old with a binky in your mouth. 
So yeah, either that happened or Noble Drali was in on it and Claude Green could have took a patient from the tuberculosis office or from the hospital and switched and switched it. And Noble Drali done said y'all are stiff. -neck. He said a lot about Moors, too. He said y'all are stick stiff neck people. He said, I got right of mind to leave you Moors. He said there's only a few few that's faithful among you all. And he straight up said, he, I got, I brought you everything it takes to save yourself or to save the nation. Now save yourself. Someone that says save yourself, that means they're getting ready to leave you, brothers. He said, I brought you everything. Now save yourself. So that somebody who says save yourself, they're getting ready to part from you. So maybe he could have just had had a tuberculosis patient who passed. Put the body there, had the coroner sign and say that he passed, and he went on and did more things with other other people he who needed him the most too. Cause he said, Y'all needed me the most, but y'all were stiff stiff neck people. Y'all chased me around with a knife. And see, that's another thing. The death of Noah Drew Ali is inconsistent. We know that he didn't die of tuberculosis, so we know the death certificate is BS. Then you know, they said that he was beat by the police, that he died from a beating from the police. Then it says that he died in a knife fight outside the temple doors in the FBI files. Just many different things that we could have took time to study if we wasn't dealing with the same ABCs with you Moors for 10 to 12 years. Muhammad, uh, Muhammad was married to Khadija Ali. Where the, the estate was left for Abdul Ali, Hassan Ali, Hussein Ali, and then it goes down the line. And then Noble Drew Ali found out somehow that, hey, my bloodline ties back to these people, and he started letting you know. So whether he faked whether he faked the death, because that's another thing with circus circ circusry and just different things like that. Magicians, all kinds of things. What do they do? You think that the swords went through him. You think he gone, but then he pop up somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's many things that could have happened. And I know my mind turns 24-7 about this stuff. And even though I say things that could not be true, it's not. I'm not writing a book saying that's, that that is what it is. I'm just going over every rock and every turn. And I know... I know Noble Drew Ali loves me for that because he's like, man, that little that little guy down there, man, he just keep on turning over and blowing off dust. And he'd be wrong about a lot of stuff. But, man, he's done pulled up some stuff that I'm, I love pulling up his ancestors that people don't even talk about. Like in Somali, Ali, Somali, there's a sultan and his name is Sultan Ali. And when you look at the image, he looks exactly like an aged Noble Drew Ali. And he is Sultan Ali. Sultan Daria, D-E-R-I-A, Ali. Sultan Daria Ali from Somali. And he looks just like Noble Dr. Ali in his 50s. So we could have took time looking at all this. And, and Somali is basically, you could call the land together Ethiopia. And... Why did Noble Drali directly say you're not Ethiopian too? And then you find that there's a Sultan Daria Ali in Somali. Ali that looks exactly like Ali. Man, get out of here, man. Then I seen, I sent to the Moor, the Dogon tribe, the chief spiritual master of the Dogon tribe who wears a fez. And he says that they are from the seventh and the seven planet in what Europeans call Sirius, but they don't even call it that. They call it like Satiro or something like that. But anyways, they say they're from the seventh, from the seventh planet, and they're the seven, and their ancestors stand on the seven. Like Islam, the prophet, Noble Dr. Ali, as the Moor says, the, the Grand Sheik says, Noble Dr. Ali is the man. But we could have took more time putting in details of what happened. And it would help, like with the NOI, we know that in the convention, there was multiple more sitting around with bow ties. We know Aaron Payne L had bow tie. Um, there's other there's other pictures that I'm going to get of Aaron Payne L too. And 
letters that he wrote talking bad about Oscar the Priest. Then you got Oscar the Priest, right? He's sitting in the picture with Noble Jirali. The moment he passes, um, Oscar the Priest does like an inauguration speech. And he's speaking on he's going to make Negro Af or Negro schools and black schools. So he wasn't with the prophet. You see that already. As soon as the um, prophet was out of the picture, they made these schools teaching about slave slave history and different things like that, man. So I don't know if Noah Jali switched the bodies or if they really they, they did them. They did them, did them in and then. um wrote it down as tuberculosis but like with the walter brister like the image if you think that's noble drew ali then i have a lot of different pictures that you could say is noble drew ali like for real if you're saying that that looks like noble drew ali i have images of other people too is that looks closer than that to ali like Mavi mubarak ali with aline bay on his site where or he has the arrow where he says this is Noble Drew Ali with Malvi Mubarak Ali. Malvi Mubarak Ali was directly related to Noble Drew Ali at the same time. So they look just alike. Of course, like I told you, Somali, Daria Ali. He looks like a 50-year-old Ali. Looks just like Noble Drew Ali because they all was family at the time. He knew, I know, he knew Malvi Mubarak Ali. He knew that was his cousin or whatever. He knows that Daria Ali, yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, oh, that's one of my elders. Like he, he didn't just make something up and say that that was him. He had family in different countries that he knew was his family. And they knew that he was his family. They, they knew that that was his family too, because they tie all the way back to, um, being involved with Muhammad and before and he knows all that and he tied all that in but Moors don't tell me about that they never made a, a connection between Muhammad and the Ali's with me I had to find that out for myself because maybe they just didn't know because they too busy keep going over the same basic things you should have got and let just roll off your tongue and live by if it takes you five years to learn something you're not living it man when you start being able to take it in real easy, then you know you're living it. But we spent too long going over the basics and we ain't able to get into the details of what we need to get into. Finding out, me finding out that Daria Ali and Somali look just like Noble Drew Ali. Like, come on, man. Y'all gonna turn my brain to water over stuff that Noble Drew Ali wanted us to know the basics of and that shit's gonna blow our minds when we find out and he wanted us to know it from the beginning if you had a three if you had an hour speech from noble draw lee on audio your confusion would be gone and that's the way they wanted it to be man but i'm gonna keep turning over these rocks and using this pledge and getting this dust off these tables and looking in these drawers because I'm going to find his ancestors. And I know he loves like when I speak of Daria Ali, that looks just like him because that was his family. When I speak of Malvi Mubarak Ali or when Ali even found Malvi Mubarak Ali, I know that Noble Dra Ali was was loving it because them are all his family and it proves even further his royalty because you can see his image and all the other people who they know for a fact has royalty. And you can see his features because it's his family. So it it shows with no doubt or contradiction that that's him. Or that he holds that same rank, if not higher, because he brought he brought it to a continent that was totally lost, that didn't have it. At that time, nobody was in the right mind with Islam on the in the Americas, and he straight put that back in force. But there was other people that when Muhammad passed, they didn't feel like Abdu, Abdu Ali was the successor. Just like when Ali passed and they felt like Emiliel shouldn't be successor. It happens in recycles over and over again. I took some time off. I'm crazy, brothers and sisters, but I did. But they made me crazy in the hospital. But they they made a monster because my mind can turn now. I'm in, a, I'm in a position where I can just sit and let my mind turn and turn and turn. And it's good because I'm thinking. Like I said, I, didn't, I ain't putting a book out saying that this stuff is what it is. But I'm telling you that 
I'm finding things that other brothers and sisters can step on and find more and dig deeper and, you know, smash that shovel against them rocks and get up in the dirt. So, yeah, I ain't putting a book out saying all this is true as far as like blasphemy or whatever, saying no, which Raleigh faked his death or whatever. But there's strong evidence. Claude Green had the hospital with the tuberculosis, tuberculosis patients. So they eat and they knew the coroner. So they could have put a body there that passed from tuberculosis. Like, I'm going to keep my mind turning, brothers and sisters, and find what I find. Like, Ali found the Mavi Mubarak Ali, but he didn't have that degree that, you know, that Noble Drali's bloodline was that close. You know what I'm saying? That there was other people that was directly related to Noble Drali that was of high standards. You know, Mavi Mubarak Ali. That's like your cousin that lives in another country. But y'all are on the same nationality or on the same getting your um, spirit aligned with the divine principles. Shit, man, we 16 minutes in. Uh, Khadija Ali, Fatima Ali, Hassan Ali, Hussein Ali, Daria Ali. Noble Drew Ali. Then I found the Egyptian giant. What was his? He was in the Barnum and Bailey circus. Um, the Egyptian giant. Ali, where I had the picture of him with the fez on and he has the sash on the left. Just like Noble Drew Ali. He's got a black, looks like he has a black fez on. Well, I'm going to sit here and let my mind spin further. Like I said, I know I'm having problems with my mind or whatever from whatever was in that hospital, food or whatever. But again, this gave me a chance to be able to sit and really think about things that I didn't have a chance to think about because I had to keep sending the Constitution or the James Trafficant speech or the divine warning or different things to let people know that, you know, there's other people going against it. I had to spend too much time doing that when if I could have found out five years ago about the tie between Muhammad and Abdul Ali, which then Noble Dr. Ali says that he's Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali, which is the one that uh, uh, Muhammad left the succession to was Abdul Ali. If I could have found that out seven years ago, we would have been way more ahead today. I don't hear you all more talking about nothing. I hear a couple more speaking and the rest of y'all, I don't hear you speak about nothing. I hit up all the temples and leave messages or speak to y'all on the phone. When I start speaking about this higher degree, I want to get off the phone because you because I'm proving that y'all been lazy and y'all ain't studying. How you not going to know about Abdul Ali, the succession left from um, Muhammad? How you going to not tell Moors about that and not even know about it? Y'all are some y'all lazy, man. Y'all lazy. I only hear a couple more speaking about anything. Y'all lazy. I got a right of mind to leave you more as well. Because y'all lazy. You know there ain't been no pale skin prophet come. You know prophets are taught by prophets. So I was I, I was taught by a prophet. I'm a student of Noble Drew Ali. And I ain't even of the Moorish nation. And you know the pale skins ain't had a prophet come yet. I ain't never heard no Europeans speak how I speak. There's more that speak like, or there's Europeans that speak like me, and there's more that speak like me, but not a lot of Moors. What, we on 20 minutes? Show me a Moor that put it on video or in a book saying that Muhammad was direct line to Noble Jurali. Leaving the succession to Abdul Ali. I ain't heard no more tell me that. Even got images of it. To, I even got images of Abdul Ali with Muhammad with his hand on him. It's a golden painting. I have it. Study, brothers and sisters. Study, study, study. 
always turn rocks. I always think about other um, other angles and the way things could have been. I don't think I have much memory on this phone. I'm so surprised I went to 20 minutes. But Islam, brothers and sisters, I don't know if this will be my last upload. I know I said last time, 100 times ago, it was my last upload. But man, I can't hold this hold this light in that I'm that I'm constantly stoking. I can't hold this light in. Islam, for the record, I stand squarely affirmed upon my oath to the five points of light, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Divine honors the prophet Noble Drew Ali. Like the Moor says, Noble Drew Ali is the man. Everything ties back to him. You go look anything, especially any, as Richard Smith would say, the Hugh kissed, <laughs> the, uh, or the sun kissed brothers and sisters. You study anything about any of them that stand with any kind of principles, and it ties back to Noble Drali. From the doggone tribe wearing the fez saying they from the seven, to Muhammad saying that Noble, or um, Abdul Ali, you're my successor, you're my everything. And that sounds just like the Moorish prayer. You know, Allah, my protector, my God, my salvation. You know, it's they say that ex directly that Muhammad told Abdul, you are my everything, my successor, my um, my protection, all that the same exact way. Y'all spent enough time about the the earthly salvation and um, statutes, codes, their decisis, um, different nations coming together to uphold certain principles and not socially absorb people. We've done enough time with the earthly salvation. Now we need to look really into the deeds of what happened and get into the divine side of it. Again, I'm surprised this ain't shut off, but Islam, this is Latif Islam.